Hello, Future Millionaire. I'm back to my usual place. Uh, here's the casino again. This is the only place in the night I can film with a decent sound stage. Uh, just ignore the background, the noises and everything. Today is a Thursday. A lot of people are out about. Yeah, this is also one of the busiest places on the Gold Coast. Aus Australians love to gamble. And the casinos, they go to socializing place and allow young people come here, not necessarily just for gambling, but also for meeting other people, enjoy their life. And it's always uh, bustling here. And food is good, it's very cheap and subsidized. So if you ever come to Gold Coast and uh, you want to enjoy the lifestyle here, this is a great starting point. Now, how do I tie this back to Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash? Similar to the casino where everyone bustles, same thing in the crypto space where you want to invest in an area where everyone else is going to be trafficking. So as in the financial transactions, the actual real world transactions happening. And right now on the Bitcoin Cash Network, there's more financial transactions than most other uh, crypto networks combined. Because most people, when it comes to crypto, all they use the crypto for is for gambling. So for them, it doesn't really matter what is the Cardano, what is the, um, let's say, chain link and all this. What they care about is the price increases, okay? Nothing else matters. But in reality, in the long term, what really matters is usage case. Because just like doing the dot-com bubble, there were a lot of companies that claim to have a special secret sauce and can revolutionize the business, but ultimately the business failed. Therefore, the share price went to zero. Same thing with the crypto space today. Out of the 10,000 coins out there, I literally can make a bet that 99% won't survive. They won't be around. And there's only 1% of all the coins today will still around, be around in 10 years from now. And when you make a long-term investment decision like I do, you have to consider that. It's not about which coins can go up most tomorrow. It's about which coin will still be around in the next decade and the decade after that. And very, very few coins are designed with uh, longevity in mind. And Bitcoin is one of the few coins that's designed from the first day onwards as an eternal coin. And I don't use this word lightly because not only Bitcoin network is a deflationary network, more important is it is designed to survive anything. Inclu including nuclear attacks, including uh, pandemics, famine, 80% um, uh, die-off of the global population. Any possible scenario you can throw at the Bitcoin Cash Network, it's going to survive. And the best example is what happened in the last few years. We had multiple splits, we had um, a lot of propaganda from the other camps and other things, and yet Bitcoin Cash survived. And for simplicity reason, I just refer to Bitcoin Cash from here onwards as the Bitcoin, as the concept, you see? Because regardless of what name you give to a network, it is what the network is that matters. The original Bitcoin network is still today surviving in the form of Bitcoin Cash. You can change the name all you want. It's like a person who is avoiding persecution of a uh, society, so they had to change the identity, change the name, but ultimately that person survives. The same thing with the Bitcoin. Bitcoin in its original form is still surviving and thriving in the form of Bitcoin Cash. All you have to do is study the history of Bitcoin. Look at all the, all the forks, what is the policy behind each forks, then you'll realize the BTC today is not necessarily what Bitcoin is supposed to be. Instead, BCH, Bitcoin Cash Now, is the only coin that's currently fulfilled every single original condition of Satoshi Nakamoto's original design. So I really want you to keep that in mind before you choose the one coin out of the four coins suggested to you by Coinbase.com. And if you choose Bitcoin BTC, that's fine. That's totally up to you. However, just keep in mind that BCH is way faster, way cheaper, way easier to use. And there's far more people in today's world using BCH for day-to-day -day transaction compared to BTC. One good example is Tesla refusing any more payment in BTC. And my guess, the number one reason for that 
is actually because nobody, nobody in the camp of BTC actually really used BTC to buy the Tesla. If someone did that, we would have heard about it somewhere on the internet. But I googled it. I couldn't find a single example of anybody ever paid for their Tesla with BTC. But in the BCH camp, then you have people like me who straightforward without prompting offering to buy not just one, not two, but 111 Teslas with BCH. Why? Because BCH is a network that allows commerce. BTC does not do that. Uh, so here is a very important fundamental difference between that two coins. And I guarantee you, usage trumps store value story anytime. Because it is the usage that creates the narrative for long-term store value. If you can't use something, you can't store value in it. What's this value to store when you can't use the value, right? It's, it's upside down. This is an upside down situation. You always must be have a practical use for anything to be considered worth of something. And uh, same thing goes for the computers you're using, the mobile phone you're using to watch me. Imagine this, the phone you're using costs you $1,000, but someone else ha has a better phone, offer you a way better phone, identical usage, but way better. And for one fiftieth the price, would you switch over? You definitely will switch over. Imagine you only pay $20 for the same phone that you hold in your hand. And the phone, the new phone is going to be faster to use, easier to use, cheaper to use. And it costs you only a 150th of the price of the phone in your hand. Would you switch over? I guarantee you, you would, right? So the same thing goes for BTC and BCH. For the same amount of fiat money today, you can get 52 times more BCH than BTC. At the same time, BTC and BCH supply schedule are exactly the same. They have the same heritage, they have the same limitation of 21 million coins, and they have the same amount of coin being lost. Basically, 4 million coins out of 21 million is gone forever. So when you know all these fundamentals, then it doesn't take really a brain surgeon or math scientist to figure out that BCH is a way better choice compared to BTC. But this narrative is not out there and this is the reason I have a channel like mine to explain the narrative to everybody, let you understand the fundamentals, let you see for yourself the difference and then you make that decision yourself. As long as you are intelligent and knows how to evaluate things based on fundamentals, I don't think that choice is going to be that difficult. And for the same reason I have chosen Bitcoin Cash Network over the BTC Network. All right. I'll see you in the next one.